Peace. And blessings and, and love, Ms. Hadia. <laughs> Ms. Hadia, get it right here. Um. <laughs> tea time. I love me some herbal teas and candles and incense and horrible cacaos and, and the moons and the stars. I told someone that I wanted to just sit on my roof on my rooftop and, and watch the moon. So when a person came to visit me, he was like, How about sitting on that rooftop watching the moon? And I thought that was a beautiful that was a beautiful um experience to just sit on a rooftop and have stimulating conversation conversation and watch the moon. Like that is awesome. I'm so glad that I've grown. And because if if, if I would have been st stuck on the past, I would not be where I'm at today. That I have so much love from with coming from within and overflowing, and I'm receiving it back in return. And I'm just so content and happy with life, and enjoy each moment. Give it to me. That's a beautiful, beautiful feeling. But to watch the moon with someone and just have stimulating conversation is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful feeling. So today, I'm going to read this because I have this app on my phone. What is it called? Wait, hold on. Let's see what it's called. Wait a minute. It's called Happiness in Your Life. And, um... Every day you get a message of the day. So sometimes I can save the message if I want to go back and review it. So I I just said I'm going to open up this because it was one in there that stood out. And it's about power. We all have power. The Creator has given us all power. All of us power. Power comes from within. Power does not come from outside of you. And when you use that power and you have positive thoughts, you can manifest the things that you want in your life that are good for you. Um, and that's something I have been working on. And last year, I was like 2017 is my year. And I began manifesting the things that I wanted in my life. The first one was I attached myself to a job that I wanted. And I got it. And then the next thing I was manifesting love. And healthy relationship, and then I received that. But I was a little blindsided uh, by it because of trust issues. Because I was still working on myself, you know, trusting people and believing what people say. But I also know that you have to not just go by the words that people speak out their mouth. You have to also go by their, their character, their actions, not their personality. I'm not talking about a man who compliments me or a man who's going to open up a door for me. Uh, a man who's going to walk out on the outside of me when we walk. I'm not talking about that because that's something a man should do. I'm not talking about a man who's going to pay my bills because I don't need a man who pay, who, I don't need a man to pay my bills. I'm not talking about a man who takes me on um, expensive dates because I can take my own self on dates. I'm not talking about a man who wants to take my vacation because I have money to take my own self on vacation. I'm talking about a man that you can sit down and have a conversation with that is going to enlighten you. That is going to um, help you grow, enable you to grow. I'm talking about being with a man who doesn't have a negative word to say about anybody, even if you're speaking negatively. Like I have to have a conversation with a man and I'm being negative. But this person is just listening to me. This person is not even feeding into my negative conversation. That's what I'm talking about. That type of person. And I actually met someone like that. And it, 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 when you've been hurt several times, and then you finally meet someone that is not like that, in the beginning, it's going to be hard for you to accept. You're going to question why this man is so nice to me because you're going to believe there's a motive behind it when actually this is just who this man is. And I'm sharing this video with women. Stop looking at his personality because things he's doing for you is the things he should be doing for you. Never 
doubt your intuition. But if you've been hurt from the past, you must heal before you can move forward. Because you won't recognize a good person. So I'm going back to the, um, got off side, off, a, off, off the topic. The topic is power. Before you get or achieve what you believe you want is really only an idea. Everything has positive and negative to it. When you have nothing, there's nothing to lose. And there's a freedom in that. When you have more, there's more to lose. Develop security not in things but in yourself. Your abilities, resilience, adaptability, and determination. This will far greater surpass any comfort achieved in anything or relationship that exists out of yourself. So many people are dependent on other people to make them happy. And you're going to fail each and every time happiness comes from within love comes from within the power you have comes from within the creator has given you all of those but we are so not loving ourselves and respecting ourselves and valuing ourselves that we get into these unhealthy relationships because of the things we're not doing for our own self some women are so damn desperate for love for many reasons that they get themselves involved with men that don't love them, that uses them, that would abuse them, disrespect them, and don't value them. And they will see it as love. And in the end, the consequences behind I love yourself are deep. Because in the end, you're going to get hurt. There's no way around it. It's nothing good coming out of a relationship getting involved with in, with a person who really has his or her own agenda, who really is not there to help you grow, who's not there to aid in your happiness. You have people that get in these relationships just to get the benefits of it. And it's sad that you or we as individuals don't recognize it. There's people who are reaping karma right now for getting involved with the wrong person. And children suffer when the mother, when the mother lay down in the bed with the man who doesn't love her, who doesn't honor her, who does not respect her, who does not value her worth, the mother is responsible for that child that she brings into this world by a man with those negative Qualities, Because at the end of the day, the children is going to suffer because of this choice that the mom made. Because as a mom, if you want to be careless and reckless, it's okay. But don't bring a child into this world by a man who is not capable of being a father because that child is going to suffer. The child is going to suffer, especially if the mother doesn't learn her lesson. Especially if the mother doesn't learn her lesson. But we have power. And you have to learn how to recognize that power and use that power for good. And the first thing in all my videos, I'm going to always say, love yourself. Respect yourself. And value your work. Because you can't expect a man to do that for you when you don't do it for your damn self. Peace, blessings, and a whole lot of love. This video is just all over the place. But that was put on my heart to share. Because I think about the children. And the consequences of the decisions that the mother made. Not so the father. Not... So much a father, but the father does have some accountability because he shouldn't be one to have a lay his seed all over the place, neither because not every woman is capable of being a great mom. Because if she doesn't love herself and respect herself, how can she teach her children then to gotta go, gotta go, gotta go?